It's 12 o'clock on Friday, so it's time for this week's Branson Weekly Updates. Our friends at 6 are having a special promotion through the 20th, so you don't have much time. Go by, and for $6 and two non-perishable food items, you can not only see this fantastic show that happens to be my favorite show in town, but you get to support CAM and the Christian Association. Now, SIX has extended their show through the 20th to support these two great organizations. So go by, and for $6 and two non-perishable food items, you can see this fantastic show. Also, speaking of Christmas holiday season, my friends down at the Stonehouse Merchant on East Hensley are offering a special promotion. Buy two Christmas ornaments, get one free. So you can go down and get three for the price of two. So come down and pick up a new ornament or three for this Christmas holiday. In the coming weeks, I'll be profiling Stonehouse Merchant right down there on East Hensley to let you know some of the great items that they have down there for your home, uh, some fantastic decorating items, and a lot of Christmas items still in stock. So come by and visit them this final weekend before Christmas. Over at Grand Country Buffet, they're offering breakfast with Santa on the 20th and the 21st from 9 to 11. So the kids can go by, have breakfast, meet Santa Claus, and get in those last minute items that they want for uh, the coming holiday here in less than a week. Our friends over at the amazing Acrobats of Shanghai on 165 there are open through the 31st this year. They're also offering a $9.95, $9.95 special for local residents. An area appreciation. Go by and see the amazing Acrobats of Shanghai, which happens to be my favorite show in town. I also want to mention that my friend Jackson Rain that we profiled a couple weeks ago managed to set the world record for straight jacket escapes, finally beating the British. An American finally beat the British. And he achieved 54 escapes in less than an hour. The record was held by a woman from the UK uh, that had 49. So there we go. Americans finally showing those British there uh, that we can defeat them. And it's not too early to start planning for New Year's Eve. Not only will my friend Colmega, who we'll talk to later this week, not only does he have a New Year's New Year's Eve suplex going on at the Clarion, where you can get a $50 room to go along with the special party that he has that night. Not only can you go there and celebrate the incoming year or the outgoing year, depending upon how you want to look at it, but you could go over to the Keter Center. Go over to the Keter Center. They're going to start seating at 5 o'clock. And from 5 to 9, they're going to have music and dancing, ending the music and dancing at 9 o'clock on New Year's Eve. So be sure to go by, uh, make your reservations early. I'm sure space is very limited. So you could go to the Keter Center, have your dinner, have some dancing, have some music, and then go by the suplex at the Clarion and tell Colmega we said hi there. So be sure to do that. A couple public announcements offered on our public bulletin board service here. This one bothers me. A friend of ours is missing his imaginary friend, Steve. Can we put a picture up here? Thanks, Charlie. His imaginary friend, Steve, this photo is uh, three years old, so please uh, keep that in mind. Steve was last seen December 12th. He enjoys sushi bars, long walks on the beach, polka parties here in Branson, and he is also a big fan of the Shanghai Circus. So please keep your eyes out for our friend Steve here. Uh, David is sorry about the frozen Slurpee incident and just wants you to come home. Steve, we're all praying that you make it back. Also, one more announcement. My friend, Eric. It says here, Eric uh, has a cat that we'll put up here. Charlie, can we put the picture up? Lost cat. Cat's name is Chairman Meow. And he uh, actually promised his girlfriend that he would do anything he could to make sure that uh, people knew that the cat was missing. According to Eric, the cat is very territorial, uh, tends to tear furniture, is not litter trained. So if you do find the cat, um, Eric is offering money for you to keep him. In addition to that announcement, I'd like to uh, throw out a little personal there. Uh, We have a friend named Eric that is expecting to be single after this week. He loves movies, Mexican food, and pets. So be sure to let us know if you see Chairman Meow or Steve. 
If you have news that you'd like included in the weekly announcement, please be sure to send those to allthingsbranson at gmail.com. In addition, our new Facebook page is up there, our Facebook fan page, and we would appreciate your support. In the coming weeks, you will be hearing interviews and seeing interviews with some great entertainers, also business owners. Next week, we're going to profile the three redneck tenors and get the inside scoop on America's Got Talent. So if you've ever been curious as to how that works, you're going to hear all about it. That'll be next week. So be sure to subscribe and be a fan of the Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter at All Branson on Twitter at All Branson, and please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can do that down at the bottom here. Uh, just hit the subscribe button, and we will be having updates several days a week, so be sure to take advantage of that. Some new segments coming up, local movie reviews about the movies that are showing in Branson, and our new segment with kids, a kid's view of Branson and activities that they've done. If you have kids that enjoy activities here in town, please be sure to email us at allthingsbranson at gmail.com. Maybe your child can be included in this new fun segment to let kids know what we offer here in Branson. I'm Christopher James. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting allthingsbranson.com. Bye-bye.